Good morning, <laughs> my darlings. <laughs> How are you today? I hope fine. So Harry and Megan have not been heard of, heard from for a while, and the predictable articles have now begun about their absence. So typically, it takes about, I would say two weeks to 10 days of absence from Harry and Meghan from the, from the stage for the media to begin speculation articles about them. And in some cases for writing articles about the fact that they need a break from Harry and Meghan, which is so funny. They need a break from Harry and Meghan. So therefore they write an article saying that they need a break from Harry and Meghan because Harry and Meghan have been taking a break. <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy. Anyway, so I want to do my real estate stuff. And you may be wondering, why am I doing all this real estate stuff on a blog about Harry and Meghan? Because I think that Harry and Meghan's real estate um, purchases are newsworthy. And certainly they have a beautiful home in Montecito. And they live in Montecito, which is a place where real estate is, you know, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> real estate is, you know, very interesting and very luxurious and very beautiful. And I'm sure that um, they go looking at real estate all the time, if not physically, then virtually. And, um, and they have a lot of money now, and I'm sure they're looking for ways to, to stash their money so that they, they know where their money went when all of this is done, you know, and real estate is a very safe investment. So I'm sure that Harry and Megan are looking for other real estate investment opportunities, you know, and I'm sure that they will probably think of doing it close by to where they are so that they can keep an eye on it. Sort of the way um, Oprah does, you know, Oprah buys stuff in Montecito and Santa Barbara all the time. In fact, she just sold a house to, she sold two houses in, in Montecito recently, one to Jennifer Aniston and one to, you know, some, one of her longtime employees or colleagues or something. So real estate is very relevant to Harry and Megan. And also I just love real estate. I love looking at beautiful homes and houses. I love the architecture. I love the interior design and exterior as well. So it's just fun. And it's content that doesn't, you know, harm anybody. It's harmless content. It's not for everybody. Most people skip over it. It's okay. I try to mix it up with other more gossipy type of articles. And in the community section of this website, of this uh, YouTube channel, you can definitely find more Harry and Megan specific content. So do go over there, but not before you subscribe to my channel, because I'm trying to grow my channel and um, I would love to have you along. And I think this kind of content is more neutral anyway. So it's like, it doesn't really matter if you are pro Harry and Meghan or not. Um, it's just something that can connect all of us together, I think, right? <laughs> so anyway, without much further ado, this is a rental for 50000 and uh, I believe it's in Montecito, but it could be Santa Barbara, which but is technically the same thing. Yes, it's in Santa Barbara. And um, it's a single family residence. Okay. And it is available starting July 15th in, in Montecito. So it's really an upper Montecito. It's on two acres of land. And it's gated in a gated community. Leads to a whimsical pebble driveway past the one guest 
house before arriving to the main residence. Okay, so it has a guest house. And um, the two bed single level home, only two bedrooms, wow, is anchored by an open living concept encompassed by a modern kitchen, expansive living area, a Four Seasons inspired master office space and laundry area. Hmm. Spiritually inspired contemporary decor, transition your senses towards abundant outdoors and windows encapsulating the scenery, views of the ocean and Romeo Canyon mountains. Oh my gosh. Are relished whether your desire is to swim in the salt water pool, soak in the hot tub, a game of boss ball. What is that? Or simply reflect in the private areas of rest. Hmm. Main house is 2,000 square feet and cottage is 900 square feet. Sorry, no pets and it's available for short and long-term rental. Hmm. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services is the agent or agency on this house. Okay. So let's see what's, oh my God, what just happened? Oh, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Let's just, let's see what this house has to offer as a $50,000 per month rental. Okay. What do I think of the yard? I think the yard is beautiful. I think the setting is beautiful. I think the garden is beautiful, whatever you want to call it. Um, the mountain view, the lush greenery, the house in the middle of all that, the the glass um, walls allows so much light to come in. You just know it's going to be a light-filled home that is just so beautiful, you know, in the morning. I mean, the only thing I think that's missing from this one might be the ocean views, but let's see, I could be wrong. Um, so yes, I mean, the setting, it, it just makes you feel like, well, you know, you're in, in California and in Montecito and that's enough. It's beautiful enough. It doesn't have to be anywhere else. It's beautiful for what it is, but it does sort of remind you of France in a way. It certainly reminds me of France, which, which is a plus, <laughs> right? I'm sorry, but it kind of just, you know, Oh, wait, let me go back here for a second. I love everything about the exterior because all of these doors, these sort of like French doors, just, oh my God, I just love it. It's so much light and uh, I just love it. I, I love it. Okay, so you have this vantage point. Okay, I mean, maybe this is the guest house. Yeah, this is the guest house, which is nice. You know, it's romantic. Okay, so anterior, I mean, you've got a lot of white. Everything is white except for the center table. What do I think? For a vacation house, it would make me very nervous. Like, um, it's a little white. You know, I don't like white, white couches in general um, because it just makes you not want to sit down and relax. And, so, you know, I like it from like a photography perspective. It photographs well. It's beautiful in these magazines and stuff, which is like one of my addictions is like decor magazines. I love, love, love. But in terms of actually living, it, it can be a little, but you know, I like the juxtaposition of the brown with the white in this space. It's, it's a nice balance very, very nice balance. So, I mean, it's a holiday. It's not the rest of your life. It's gorge. This is gorge. Okay. This marble fireplace, it's very modern, but, um, just lovely. And, um, the, um, the Orient, the Oriental, uh, decor is, is very nice there. And, um, you know, again, the, the floors, what are the floors? The floors wood. Okay. That's okay. And the glass walls are just amazing. I love it. 
And of course, it's photographed. The, the couch is photographed. It's gorgeous. It's sumptuous. It's delicious. You know, I just I'm not sure that it's comfortable to sit on because you're like scared of making a mess. You know, beautiful just from an interior design um, perspective. Um, one little hint of brown is absolutely perfect. And then, um, oops, I don't. And then you, and the chair, even though it's white, white, it does look soft. It does look soft. And that's important. Cozy is very, very important in my world anyway. I mean, for some people, it's like, it's too, it's too girly, I guess. And just like, stop, you know, but for me, this is like perfection. And the little um, ceiling fan with the light fixture, it's just perfect. Perfect, perfect. I have no critiques of this, okay? Oh, this is beautiful. What am I? Is this, is this, the wall is, the chair is here. The chair is here. Is this, what am I? What am I? Is this the same room? This table here, is that the same table? I'm not sure, funnily enough, if this is the same room. This may not be the same room. This is a different room. This is a beautiful room. I mean, all that light on two sides. Oh my God. It's like light on this side and light on that side. It's just like, oh, I love. I love, I love, I love. And you can see right out onto the terrace which is beautiful, just oh, beautiful kitchen, perfect, I love the chairs, you know, I like the, I like a white kitchen, for sure, and I like a, an open kitchen, like an open space that sort of looks out on the, the living room, I like marble, marble topped, or granite, whatever, I mean, I like that look, of stone top countertops. I like the glass doors that show me what's outside. I mean, in this case, you have all this green. I love it. I like the size. It's not too much. You know, you don't want too much. You know, you just want enough, you know? <sighs> so you're not confused. Where do you go? You know, what do you do? Oh my God, I love the white, um, the white kitchenware. You know, I mean, that's sort of like what I have here in my own, my own little, you know, world. <laughs> so I just love, 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 love this whole look. I don't love the sink. Okay. That needs to be stone or marble, like a white sink, um, marble. Okay. It's horrible. I, I hate it with like a brass or even a gold faucet. Okay, um, I like what they did there. That's very interesting. Yep, I like the ceilings. Oh, that's like my ceilings. Oh, I like it. This is like my kitchen. Oh, I love. I mean, it's better than my kitchen, but it's similar to my kitchen. Okay, similar to my kitchen. Um, let's see. Okay, so here you have sort of Oh, that's a dining room. Okay. The little thing's tight. Oh my God, it's too long. Um, yeah. And um, beautiful. 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 This is an awesome. I like this office a lot better than a lot of the offices. I've seen these heavy offices. Oh my God. This is my kind of office. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, this is a very interesting bedroom. Very sort of white, but with the brown furniture. What do I think? I think normally, you know, my taste, but this works. It's like a master bedroom though. It works, but you'd have to be in the bed with like someone you love and who loves you back. You know what I mean? <laughs> there has to be love for this type of a 
dramatic bad or just don't bother. <laughs> okay, so here you have another bedroom. Very basic, but nice. This one is nice and soft and sweet. I like. Oh, I love. I love those French doors. Oh, my God. Oh, this is very nice. Very oriental, I think, right? Yeah. Um, here you have a very simple but very nice clean bathroom. And nice, nice. God, gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous setting. Oh, sweet. Love it. I would totally rent this as a way of like, you know, before you buy in Montecito, you test out Montecito. You know what I mean? Do you even like this environment? You know, it's just like, oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, my God. I love it. This little, what is this, a gazebo? <laughs> beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Nice. Oh, I love these. Oh, this is too long, this video. I, I'm going to have to, like, take all my apps off just to save this. Oh, my gosh. This is so crazy beautiful. The only thing that's missing is, like, the ocean views, I think. This is nice. I would totally rent this in two seconds. What about you? Oh, my gosh. You, this, you could, have, like, get married here and, like, have all your guests have dinner. And it's a private wedding, but in a beautiful setting. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, this is so gorgeous. <laughs> it's just so gorgeous. Oh, it's so nice. Why aren't they selling it though? Like why 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 rent? You know? 